Hey friends, it's Kay. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Hello, my name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer, but in today's video, I'm gonna clean. And if you need to get motivated and or you need some company while you clean and you just really would like someone to hang out with you, I am going to clean with you today for almost three hours. So get set. This is a stitching of videos of me cleaning my various apartments. I've actually lived in several different apartments since I've been on YouTube. So you get to see a variety of spaces, times, outfits, and stages of clover. So I think that you'll have a lot of fun. Last time I did something like this, you guys really loved it. So get off your butt, get ready to clean your house, and let's just hang out and chill. Enjoy this clean with me stitch video. Hey guys, I thought I would clean the entire apartment today and show you what I did along the way. So if you love watching cleaning videos, you're gonna love this one. Ready? Here we go. On days like this when I feel like cleaning the entire apartment, nothing sets the tone quite like doing the laundry first thing. Before I start cleaning up, before I start putting anything away, I just love to get the laundry started. And then before I really start cleaning up the apartment, I love to clean up anything that is out of place and not in its home. We had some clothes lying around, I had some electronics lying around, so I basically just picked everything up. And I know the Christmas tree is still up and it's almost the end of January, but I love it so much and I just, I can't bring myself to put it away, but I think a few more days and I'll be ready to put it up for the year. Uh, so I just did a concert, so I'm taking all of my music out of my black folder and uh, I had some notes in there that I wanted to look at as well. So um, I wanted to put my music away. I also decided to dust the desktop files just because I was touching them and dust the shelf that they were on as well. I have a whole bunch of music just sitting there from my voice lesson, so I'm gonna come back to it later. I'm still picking up things around the apartment. I'm organizing Clover's toys behind the couch. And I just decided to uh, start going for the couch here. I'm taking all the cushions, gonna fluff them up a bit and uh, place them on the edge of the couch while I figure out the cushions. And there are some stuff that I needed to fold here, a blanket that seems to never get folded. Um, I folded that one. And I decided to give the couch a good vacuum as well. I don't always do this. I'm actually pretty lazy about it, but I decided since I was gonna do the whole apartment today that I would do under the cushions uh, and on top of the cushions as well. I did the big cushion a couple of days ago, so I skipped doing under that one, but Clover was a little bit upset that I was vacuuming all over his big giant bed. Sorry, buddy. And now the most satisfying part, putting all of the cushions back and fluffing them up a little bit and making them look really neat and tidy. And I also decided to uh, neaten up Clover's uh, crate area. I always like to make that nice and neat for some reason, even though it really doesn't matter to him at all. I just like for it to look neat. And here I'm addressing the music that's been sitting out, all of my um, opera scores and oratorio scores. I wanted to put those away. I do use a sort of false color blocking system. They're not in rainbow order, but they're in sort of a color block uh, order, um, just so they look a little neater to the eye. Then it is dusting time. This alpha uh, walnut system gets terribly dusty. And I just wanted to give the coffee table a little wipe down as well with a wet microfiber cloth. Now just to do a little extra, I wanted to clean and disinfect the remote controls. That's a remote control caddy you can see there. And um, I'm taking a 
microfiber cloth and a little bit of disinfectant. It's just some alcohol with a little bit of water and some tea tree essential oil and uh, rubbing the surfaces of the remotes because you don't know who's been touching them. Anyway, I'm continuing to clean up here, putting all of my computer stuff away, um, some of the cleaners that I had been cleaning with, and um, just putting stuff back in the cabinets. I don't know why, but one of my least favorite things to do is put away dishes from the dishwasher or from the dish rack. I just hate it. I don't know why. It's just my least favorite chore ever. Um, I'm straightening out some snacks that we had. We had a party a couple days ago, so we had molto bags of chips and pretzels for everyone. Um, so now I'm just going to wipe down the counters and some of the backsplash with just a microfiber cloth wet with some water. Again, you don't need a lot of harsh chemicals just to clean around. You can just use some water. The microfiber pretty much is going to trap a lot of that bacteria, which is great. Um, but during this cleaning cycle, I did go through a few microfiber cloths. They're all in the laundry right now, ready to be washed and uh, ready for next time. I usually make the bed before I do anything else, but for some reason this morning I was not in the mood to make my bed. I think because I had an early dentist appointment, I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to basically clean up and make the bed. That's a, a little blanket that we have so that Clover doesn't mess up our um, duvet cover. Sometimes he likes to come and take a nap with me, so I invite him up there sometimes. Anyway, making the bed is one of the best things you can do to make you feel better basically about your day and about your life. I don't know why, but it makes you feel so good when the bed is made. And I am just obsessed with making our bed look like the most giant, most inviting marshmallow. And this uh, duvet cover and this duvet is very fluffy and white and it looks just like a marshmallow and I love it so much. After I make the bed, I decide to give my nightstands a good cleaning and dusting since they are made of glass and brass. Every little bit of dust that is in the apartment shows on them, so about once a week or so, I do go in with a microfiber cloth with a little bit of water on it or sometimes uh, with a little bit of disinfectant on it and wipe down those nightstands and they look clean and shiny again. Oh, it's bathroom time. Cleaning the bathroom is actually one of my least favorite things to do, but it's very satisfying when it's done. I start by taking everything out of the bathroom that I can at least, all the things off the surfaces, and just start to spray all around so that my cleaner has a chance to really start working and it's uh, called dwell time when the cleaner is just sitting on a surface. It's going to help you clean a lot easier and use a lot less elbow grease. Cleaning the glass door is one of those things that is a big job. The glass door, I think it's about 10 feet tall and it requires a step stool in order to clean the entire thing. And it just seems like so much glass, but it's the most satisfying thing I can do in my entire house. I love grabbing a microfiber cloth, grabbing some spray, that's some um, honest spray. It's basically just vinegar and lemon spray and clean the entire uh, front of the shower. And also I like to do the little inside of the shower too with the same cleaner. Um, but see, I have to get up on a stool to clean the whole thing. It's just so tall, but I love, love, love when it's all shiny and clean afterward.
spent a long time sort of cleaning my sink here. I just used some um, all-purpose cleaner from Mrs. Myers, diluted in some water, and um, I just went around with a microfiber cloth and tried to get all the little crooks and crevices around the sink. Dirt and um, stains tend to hide in these little tiny spaces between the counter and the faucets and the handles. It really, really gets on my nerves, but I think I got most of the stains off and most of the dirt off of the sink and it is nice and squeaky clean now. And it's toilet time. Who loves cleaning the toilet? Me? No. I hate cleaning the toilet also. Who loves cleaning the toilet? It's pretty, pretty gross. So that is the reason for the blue gloves. The blue gloves never come out for any other job but doing the toilet. They're pretty much exclusive toilet gloves and I disinfect them after using them as well. There was a little bit of grimy stuff around the button, the uh, flush button, so I got my detail brush and I went to town on it and that made me feel so good because a lot of that dirt came right off. Now, cleaning around the toilet is, for me, almost as important as cleaning the toilet itself. There are little vapors and things that fly everywhere. Even if you close the lid when you, when you flush the toilet, which is what we do as a household, it still freaks me out. I still have to disinfect all around the toilet. <laughs> While I was at it, I emptied the trash and actually went in with my toilet brush at this point. I uh, pretty much go to town in there, really, really going to town and uh, let my toilet brush dry there on the side. I learned that from Melissa at Clean My Space. She's fantastic. If you're not subscribed to her, I will link her down below. Of, I mean, why would you not be subscribed to her? Anyway, uh, it's floor cleaning time. I don't use any kind of mop for this. It's just too small in there, so I go with my hands and knees. With my Method floor cleaner, it smells so good like mint. Now in the beginning of my cleaning cycle, I had actually sprayed the walls of the shower and the little bit of the floors too. So at the end of my cleaning cycle, I went in and scrubbed the walls and the floors and it was much easier because the cleaner had been sitting there for a while. Then it was time to put everything back into place in the bathroom. When I'm putting everything back, I tend to wipe it down a little bit with a microfiber cloth and some cleaner just to make sure that everything goes back clean as well. I do think it's a really good idea to clean items that you've taken out of the bathroom and are putting back in just again because of the, va the vapors. <laughs> I sound totally paranoid, but things are really dirty, so you gotta make sure that you're just at least wiping things down before you set them back down in your beautiful, clean, pristine bathroom. Of course, it's time to vacuum. There is lots and lots of dog hair, dust, lint, all kinds of nonsense on the floor. Even though it doesn't look that dirty from this angle, trust me, it's dirty. Cleaning the floor is one of the last things I want to do because I'm going to be probably walking in and out. Um, and I want to make sure that the vacuum is one of the final steps of cleaning. 
and I sprinkled a bunch of baking soda onto the carpet since I only have one little small carpet just to freshen it up a bit. I let it sit there for about 10 minutes and then I go in with my vacuum again. This is my Dyson Animal 44, I think. Um, but this is one of the older models. I think I've had it for five years. I still really, really like it. I would love a newer model, but they're just so expensive that I don't want to drop you know, another $400 on another vacuum just when I have this old one that works great, but I love it. Anyway, I emptied the vacuum and I figured while I was at it, I would take out the trash as well. And I decided also that since I was taking out the trash, I might as well take out the recycling. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't know what what is going on but we always have tons more recycling than we do have trash where i'm i feel like i'm taking out the recycling every few days or so um good for the environment but a much more work for the two of us um anyway i love 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 having a nice empty trash can it makes me feel so good and as the final step, you guessed it, the automatic mop from iRobot. I love that thing. And after two hours of cleaning, it was time for me and Clover to relax on the couch. Clover worked real hard, didn't he? <laughs> Welcome back to another cleaning video. Today, we have got to get the house under control. It is our um, last big clean until we move. So I really have to make sure that I do a good job today cleaning. It's been a long time and the house is, I've let it go a little bit. We're moving into our new condo next week. So I just wanna make sure that everything is really clean before we start to move out of here and move back to the city. So um, I'm gonna do, and plus I don't like when the house is dirty anyway. So I'm just gonna do a little prep prep, prep, prep. So I'm gonna take you on the journey. I know you guys like these cleaning videos. If you guys like cleaning videos and organizing videos and videos about dogs and singing and stuff, that's a lot, uh, go subscribe, subscribe. You know, it's free, press the subscribe button, do it now, and press the bell to get notifications. Before we start cleaning though, we have to uh, tire out one Clover James. He's been following me with this thing all morning. So it's time to go because you have now digested your breakfast. Are you ready to go play the ball? All right, let's do this. We went to the dog park that morning and he was so happy to get his little butt out there. It was super snowy. It had some really big sort of frozen snow pieces. So the footing was a little bit suspect. He's definitely okay, but I was super terrified watching him just like roll over like that. It was so scary. I thought he was going to really hurt himself. Anyway, this is where he uh, loves to stay for hours, but we didn't stay for hours. We only stayed there for about an hour and then we went back home and started to clean. The first thing I wanted to do is clean the bathroom because the bathroom was super disgusting. So the first thing I always do is I grab um, the bathroom linens and I just move them out of there and get ready to wash them because nothing makes me feel more like the bathroom is clean than having clean bathroom linens. You know what I mean, you guys? And these washing machines have been just workhorses for us these three months that we've been living in this house. They've been so good to us. While I was washing the bathroom towels, I decided that I would just wash all the microfiber towels as well, the ones that I have been using to scrub down the kitchen, as well as the dish drying towel or mat. Um, I like to, you know, do all of the, the least loads I can do just to save on water. So um, everything just gets clean and it's, uh, it's a good thing. I had forgotten one, a uh, couple of towels from the kitchen. <laughs> I just wanted to get everything clean at once, but net, I didn't realize that I was washing all of the microfiber cloths. Uh, so I didn't really have any left to clean with. So I had to use some paper towels a little later on, which I was not super excited about, but whatever, things happen. So this is the disgusting bathroom, you guys. I know it's not as bad as like some people's bathrooms, but like, to me, this is really bad. Look, look, there's like a half drank bottle of tea there and like 
my area is a disaster the sink is gross there's some makeup in there I think and it just was it was gross I had gotten really sloppy over the past few days I've been super busy I've been working I'd had rehearsals and I just been in and out of the bathroom really quickly and not really taking good care to put my things away properly. So the first thing I always do when I clean the bathroom is take everything out because I can't wash surfaces unless things are on there. I also wash bottles um, and jars and things like that before I put them back. I wash the bottoms of them because they get really gross and grimy as well. So I think it's always a good idea to give your bottles and stuff a wipe down before you put them back on the counter because otherwise it's like, you know, you're not helping yourself at all. <laughs> anyway, I took that tea. There was like a little bit of tea left in there and I poured it out in the sink, rinsed it out, and I had to take it downstairs to the recycling. I also had a couple of things that were empty that I had to take to the recycling. I think there was like a micellar water in there or something or and like a makeup remover. I love to use my solar water. Do you guys like that stuff? I like it because it takes off my makeup really cleanly. It's not greasy. I like the simple my solar water you get from the drugstore. But uh, lately, I've been using Bioderma, and I really like it. I the, I first tried Bioderma when I was in France at my honeymoon, and that's when you could only get it in France and Canada. So I took a bottle home with me, and I bought a bottle when I was there, and I really really liked it. Now you can get it in the United States for not super expensive, and it still works really really well. Anyway, still taking all that stuff out. Boy, this was this was like a long process. I hate cleaning the bathroom. <laughs> I'd like to use this method antibacterial cleaner though because it smells like spearmint or I don't know, some kind of mint and it just makes you feel like stuff's getting clean. I give everything a good spray down because you gotta let it sit there to do that, the antibacterial thing, you know, you just can't spray and wipe. You gotta let it sit there for a couple minutes. And then I had to go get some paper towels because I was washing all my microfiber towels. How annoying. So, but I did get this area nice and clean. It smells so good. Sometimes this method cleaner makes me sneeze. Does anyone else have that issue or is it just me? Let me know down in the comment below. Of course, it's time for me to scrub. So you guys know I love my heavyweight scrub gloves. Those are a major, major lifesaver. You just can't wipe your face or scratch your face <laughs> when you have them on. So I didn't realize I still had my glasses on, so I had to take those puppies off. And I just got down to scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. These are great if you don't wanna use a really, really abrasive surface on your sink, on your counter, or something like that. They are gentle but strong at the same time. I don't know what I mean, but you guys know what I mean. Anyway, they get the job done. If you got some serious grit and you want to uh, get, them, get them done, the link is down below <laughs> if you wanna buy these guys. Uh, but they are really, really good. And I use them, I have a pair for the bathroom and a pair for the kitchen. So I have two separate pairs. I also have a pair for Eve, however, they are in storage, so he hasn't had a chance to use them yet, but when we move, oh yeah, you better believe that I am letting him know which pair is his. They come in different sizes, so this is the small pair. There's a medium and a large, of course, so um, the large pair will probably be his pair, so he can definitely help clean some things when we move into our new place. <laughs> Anyway, my reason for wanting to do this major cleaning is I was sort of reflecting back on December and November and just reflecting on the time that I have been in this house and I'm super lucky and blessed to have a friend who has this empty house and who, you know, we were just happy. It just was very lucky that we happened to be needing a place to stay and that he, you know, needed a house sitter. and. It, this house has been really good to us and as as a last blessing to this home I really wanted to give it a really good scrub you know to sort of make it feel really good I feel like houses and spaces have sort of a personality or a spirit um, I know that sounds like a little kooky but I, I really do feel like they do and uh, this house has been you know really great in protecting us from multiple nor'easters and rain and things like that so I just wanted to take a really good care of it and give it a really nice what I like to refer to as a, a, a farewell blessing before we move into our new space 
Of course, it was time to clean the shower. This honestly did not stay very clean for long. It's a little discouraging. I'm gonna have to clean it again uh, next week before we leave, but uh, it's always very satisfying. I feel like this shower or tub is one of those like refitted bath showers. Like it's got a little like outside coating and underneath there might be an older tub or shower. But um, it cleaned up very nicely, but look how dirty and disgusting it was. This is real life, you guys. Like, that's real dirt, and it was disgusting. So I got in there with my heavyweight scrub gloves and scrubbed away. You guys know the drill. By the way, if you guys haven't figured this out by now, this whole video is basically looking at my butt. So if you guys are not cool looking at my butt, you, you should click off now because that's probably the rest of the video is just shots of my behind. So sorry about that but hey this is real life this is real life cleaning and uh, i have my peach squad hoodie on from claire siobhan shout out to my favorite gaming channel <laughs> anyway I, I think it got really hot and i actually took it off a little later in this process because your girl was working hard cleaning up the bathroom and all the other rooms in the house and i love having this hose to clean up the the scrubbed down shower it's so satisfying to see all that grime come off and go right down the drain. Anyway, put all this stuff back. And I was remarking to myself about how my husband has all of these bottles of things in the shower. And I'm, I try to be sort of minimalist in the shower. Like I've got one shampoo, one conditioner, one shower gel, and a razor. And that's pretty much it. And I don't know why he's got like choices. I mean, no hate if he really likes to have, you know, variety or choices, I think that's fine. But you know, we're in a temporary space, so I'm trying to be like minimalist and he's got like, you know, like very, very varied bottle. Look, there's my stuff, just very simple. I got five items and he's got like multiple shampoos and shower gels. It's a little bit crazy. Face wash, shower gel, scrub. It's crazy. What What's all that stuff? Anyway, oh, there's also a soap. Insane. Anyway. It's time to clean the toilet. I did not want to film myself cleaning the toilet because I think that's gross. And I think you guys know how to clean a toilet and you guys don't want to see people cleaning a toilet. So I also cleaned all around the toilet uh, with antibacterial cleaner. You guys know how it, the deal is, you know, the toilet and around the toilet is also quite disgusting. And yes, I did not have gloves on when cleaning the toilet. I gave my hands a good wash. It's totally fine. No one died. It's totally fine. It's all good. So after that, I just put everything back and had a good time rinsing off some of my bottles and all that stuff before I finished up. But it was so satisfying. I hate cleaning the bathroom, but it is a necessary evil and it got done. Vacuum time. Look at the vacuum brush. How is there this much dog hair around? I don't understand. I feel like, what? Anyway, it took some a little bit of time to clean it, but look how clean it gets. Like, what? That's crazy. Anyway, I gotta put my vacuum cleaner back together. I, this Dyson, I've had this Dyson for at least, I think this is my, hmm. I guess I've had it for six years and it's still going strong. Every now and again, I'm tempted to like buy a new, newer version of this Dyson vacuum, but if this vacuum still works really well, I'm not gonna go ahead and replace it. So I really, really, really love it. It works great. It is the Dyson Animal DC44, I think, uh, cordless vac. I don't even think you can buy this model anymore, but it still works great. And of course, Clover had to uh, walk in front of the lens. Good, good job. Anyway, I happened to get all of the dog hair and the K hair up from the bathroom floor because if you don't have curly hair, you don't know about the constant need for getting your hair up off the floor. I don't know what it is. I don't know how I still have hair because there's so much hair on the floor. And Clover's just like, what's up? What are you doing? Can I help? He wants to help, but he, he never is good at helping. He just, it's, you know, he's a good observer. And I didn't actually use floor cleaner. I used the antibet cleaner to clean the floor. I don't know why. It's fine. You know, I just want to, I just wanted to make sure the floor was nice and germ free. I'm feeling very germophobic now these days. I just washed myself out of the bathroom. Look how gross the paper towel was. See, it was totally worth it. 
Next on my uh, list of chores was to tackle the laundry and also tackle the bedroom and how the bedroom was like kind of rough. There was just stuff everywhere and it was a mess. I just had, it was just really disorganized and I needed, I just wanted a chance to have it be my nice sanctuary again. I was making sure that it was okay to wash that sweater that you guys love. <laughs> and I just wanted to have this be nice and neat again. I just, I'm just a mess. I'm a mess. This month, I had everything just everywhere sitting around. I'm looking at the camera, making sure it's still recording. <laughs> I do that sometimes, but I don't usually keep it in, but I'm going to keep it in because, you know, this is the real life. This is real life behind the scenes YouTube, right? So I'm just cleaning up this little area and I am making sure all the stuff is going to the laundry. And this is my side table, you guys. Look at all the mess. I've got like a can there, an empty can of, of sparkling water the cords are crazy but I bought these controllers from Nintendo for my switch to play old-school games with and they're awesome they're like the same size as original NES controllers and you can play old-school games look who remembers Super Mario Brothers 2 I burned so many hours playing this game this was like the the one Super Mario Brothers game I could rely be win oh I just I just fell down and died oh well Get, let's get back to cleaning. <laughs> anyway, I cleaned this up, this area up. It just got a little out of control. I do still have a 3DS there, and I do still play my 3DS because I can play, I still like to play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time because that's like my video game comfort food. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? If any of you guys play Zelda, let me know. And do you have a Zelda comfort food game that you just go to when you're feeling kind of stressed or when you like before you go to bed at night, you just want to play some games, you just want to chill. When I want to chill, I play Zelda Ocarina of Time because I know how to beat every dungeon. I know how to find every heart piece. I know how to beat every enemy. It's just like a chill thing. It's just, and it never gets old for me. I, I've been playing that game since like the early 2000s. What's wrong with me? <laughs> anyway. It's time to do the bedding. And every time I have to make the bed, Clover is on the bed. I found that this is a common thing with like any pets. And you know, guys know I used to have cats. I used to have three cats actually at the same time. And whenever I made the bed or had to like take the linens off the bed, they were right there. What is that all about? I feel like it's a conspiracy thing with pets. They're like, oh, she's making the bed. Let's get on the bed or make this difficult. Clover. I think is part cat. I like to call him sometimes the catalier because he does very cat-like things. And this is one of his favorite things is to interfere with bed making and bed washing, bed linen washing activities. <laughs> he was not giving up. He was like, well, I'm just going to sit on the fitted sheet here and see if that's going to be good. <laughs> but I think really in reality, he just wants to be in the same room with me hanging out and he wants the best like view and this was the best view, but honestly, I just needed to get the cleaning done and he, he, he just was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Sorry, buddy. He finally moved all the way out to the mattress pad. He's like, man, I got no place comfortable to sleep anymore. Mom took all of my stuff. I'm just going to sit here. And you know, as soon as I take my stuff downstairs, he's like, oh wait, he got, he got that FOMO. He got that FOMO, he wants to know where I'm going. <laughs> of course, going to the laundry. Anyway, my vanity, it's a mess. You guys, it's a mess. And I, you know what, honestly, I have missed my makeup collection. I only took three makeup palettes, like three eyeshadow palettes with me to this place and I'm, I'm getting a little bored of them. I'm going to be honest. I do like my variety in my makeup collection, so I am excited to see my makeup collection again. There. There. We've got some order in there. Yay. <laughs> it was looking really messy. Oops. I left my glasses upstairs. I normally don't keep my glasses upstairs because I need them for driving, so I need them to live someplace close to the door, so that's my little catch-all area. I put them there temporarily, and then I focused my sights on the kitchen. Here's this glass top that has frustrated me. You guys, I love the way the glass top looks, but it is a bear to keep clean. 
and there was like stuff in the sink and all over the counter. We had been drinking wine last night and it just was kind of a mess. Now it's not as bad as it, as it could have been, but there was just stuff everywhere. So I decided to give it a nice clean. There's Clover's jacket there and the floor. Oh my gosh, you guys, winter in New England, the struggle is real. There's salt, there's snow, there's mud, there's dirt. It's just a disaster. Winter in New England doesn't let you be great and never lets you keep your your floors clean. It's a disaster. Look at that corner. That's the worst corner ever. Like that's where all the boots and Clover's boots end up and they just get so, so disgusting. So the first thing of course I had to do was empty the dishwasher and oh no, I was filling the dishwasher and I had to run the dishwasher because that's like one of my least favorite things to do actually is the dishes. Again, I know I've told you guys a thousand times, for some reason the dishes, like the worst thing ever. That little dishwasher though, that Bosch dishwasher that's at my friend's house is awesome. I love that thing. Um, so I had to do all of the hand wash dishes and actually clean the sink. That made me happy and I finally, could live with myself and the dirty dirty kitchen cleaning all of the counters and everything with a little sponge action just with some water this is so therapeutic for some reason I hate doing the dishes and I hate cleaning the bathroom but I love cleaning the kitchen and I love cleaning the kitchen counters what is that is it because it's so satisfying I think that might be it because I just love to see because kitchens can get so disgusting but then get so clean so this glass stovetop, it's it's real hard to keep clean, you guys. I, I I love it. It's it's I guess it's better for the environment to use electricity, but oh my gosh, the stains. So I have this little tool that I got from Target, and it actually gets the stains off, you know, the burnt on stains off of the cooktop. But oh my gosh, y'all, it's been the bane of my existence. Like every time I look, I'll like look back and then look at it again. And it's dirty. It's so frustrating. So I will be happy to not clean it. You know, that that's that's a thing. I'm happy, I'm much more happy to clean stainless steel than I am to clean a glass cooktop. It does look beautiful, you guys. And I have like a special cleaner for it, but when I forgot this glass, I was so mad. I was gonna put that in the dishwasher, but then I had hand wash it. Woe is me. So dramatic, right? I mean, who I mean seriously there are so many worse things than having to hand wash a glass but you know after I had done all that work and hand washed all those dishes and I forgot one glass I was devastated <laughs> oh my gosh you guys I uh, how do you wait how do you guys feel about just me talking to you through this uh, <laughs> through this video <laughs> instead of just putting music over and occasional voiceovers I feel like I'm having a conversation with you guys and uh, it's fun so let me know. Let me know if you like it. Anyway, I was very, I, you know, my mom, when I was growing up, had an obsession with cleaning the counters like this. Like she'd go around and around with a cloth and clean the counters. And I was like, what is the deal? Why are you so obsessed with cleaning the counters? And here I am doing the same thing. I am very slowly becoming my mother in all kinds of ways. And I find it very alarming. I'm becoming my mother and my father in several different ways and it's very disturbing they don't tell you that when you're a kid you know there's a lot of things that you don't realize like your mom's right you know a lot of the time not all the time you know but a lot of the time and uh and your dad's right a lot of the time <laughs> and i had see myself slowly becoming my mother uh look look how obsessively i'm cleaning these counters like i'm just i'm going to town on it and I had to clean the outside of the fridge because stainless steel. I was getting a call from my husband and we were discussing the closing date that has been proposed for us. We have been given a tentative closing date. There are uh, limit, there are factors that are holding this up that have to do with um, uh, moolah being moved around, all that stuff for the deposit. So it's, Right now, it's still tentative as of right now that I'm filming this voiceover, but hopefully tomorrow we'll find out a more concrete closing date, but for sure, we will be moving in the next seven or eight days. And I am very, 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 very excited 
and I saw my little son come in and I have to show you what he looks like. That is his little wonton or dim dumpling that he loves. <laughs> he went back in the, in the living room, but he loves that little stupid dumpling that I got from a bark box toy that it comes with a little like it comes with two other dumplings and a Chinese takeout box and he loves that that's like his number one favorite toy in the whole wide world he is so cute and he wants to play all day but he's so tired he's like I want to play but I'm exhausted <laughs> anyway clean Kishon clean Kishon I had to pick up after myself <sighs> move all my stuff to where it was more appropriate. It was just taking up eye space in the kitchen and getting very annoying to look at. So I just had to move everything over and make it look really nice because I don't know about you guys, but I like when things look neat as well. Even in this temporary space, I wanted things to look really cool and check out this gin that my friend gave me for Christmas. It's we like to refer to it as the fancy Japanese gin and I cannot wait to open it in our new house and have a martini. So excited. Anyway, cleaning off this alpha drawer unit. We have many drawer units <laughs> in our possession. We have two in this house and the rest are in storage. They do have new homes in our new, in our new place, um, but uh, we'll see if I need them anywhere else. Anyway, always got to clean the microwave. You know, that always gets forgotten is the microwave. So I am definitely not leaving a dirty microwave. And look, he brought me another toy. He loves these stupid bark box little tiny toys. It was a little snowflake toy that he got for Christmas and he loves it. And all I do is I throw it in that room and he chases it. He lives for it. There's a little wonton. He was done with that. And there's a little uh, takeout box if you guys can see it. It's so cute. He actually loves the takeout box too. He loves to play tug with the takeout box. So cute. He loves toys. He's obsessed with toys. Next, of course, is the vacuuming because I had to get all that dirt and grimy crap off the floor. It was so disgusting. I hate it. I hate stepping on that stuff when I come in with my, you know, socks on. And I also decided to finally, finally, vacuum underneath the drawer unit <laughs> I think I don't think I've done it at all since we've moved here and that drawer unit has been there for months and best believe it was dirty underneath there like super dirty so I finally got my vacuum and worked it out <laughs> it was so disgusting you guys the place I've never had to clean a house this big and it's just it's a lot of work. I don't know how you guys have these big houses and make it work. It's so much work. And I didn't even clean all the rooms. I just cleaned, you know, the main areas. And it was, it just took all day. But um, I had to clean up behind these little doors in the mudroom and our carpet and everything. That's a carpet that we had in our home, but I hadn't used it for a while. And then we took it to this house to use as a mudroom carpet. And it's been working really well. As you can see, my little sidekick is always, always hanging out there. He is a, what I like to refer to as a Velcro dog. <laughs> He's always there. He's always hanging. He's always around the corner. I've also called him my shadow because you can't even go to the bathroom without Clover just coming in and being like, what are you doing? <laughs> Can I come in here? Can I hang out with you? He is Velcro dog, shadow dog stalker dog all kinds of things but you know what i like it <laughs> i like having my little sidekick there he is my little buddy and he can hang out with me wherever he wants whenever he wants who needs privacy when you have a cavalier am i right am i right <laughs> anyway this is so satisfying to get all of this dust off from here and of course my little shadow. There he is. Oh yeah. Speed cleaning the kitchen. Speed vacuuming the kitchen. So much work. And I finally was finally able to put the store back and not have it have dirt underneath it. it had, I had just been like ignoring the fact that there was dirt getting underneath that drawer unit for I guess weeks and weeks and weeks and I was surprised. Anyway, mopping time. You guys know I love this O-Cedar mop. 
you can just spray and mop the floor. It's the best thing in the world. And it gets so much dirt off the floor. And then you just pop the cloth off and put it in the laundry and it gets clean and then you use it again. It's awesome. It's, I mean, it's not, okay, I'll be honest. It's not as good and as awesome as the Brava Jet Robot Mop from iRobot because that is my number one seed of mopping tools because it does all the work for me. However, the next best option is the O-Cedar Spray Mop. You just put your cleaner in the little reservoir and it's got a little trigger on the handle and you just spray and you just go to town. And I was using the Method Floor Cleaner, the peppermint scent or the spearmint scent. It's some kind of mint scent. It smells good, you guys. It smells so good. There's something about mint that makes you feel like it's getting even more clean. You know what I mean? Like floral smells smell really clean, but mint clean. Look at that. Look at the nasty, dirty cloth. Blech. Into the washing machine with you. And then it was time for my lunch break. I was having a little salad sort of grain bowl that I made up. I had some tofu that I put on top. It's some rockin', rockin' cubes. And then I put some feta cheese on top. And you guys, this is delicious. Underneath, I have some seven grains or like just some different grains. And I put some yummy, yummy lemon salad dressing on it. And it was delicious. And not too filling because lately I've been having problems with my lunch being super filling, but not today. Anyway, it was time to do some plant chores. My plants were very thirsty, especially this little philodendron that I had gotten. Look how cute it is. This is my lemon lime philodendron. It's just so adorable and I love it. I got a, a philodendron in Brazil the other day too. So I am really loving the philodendrons. My monstera, my monstera <laughs> was very dry as well. So the plants were looking pretty happy and pretty good. Look at all of the babies. It's going to be super fun to move them to my new house. I have to say, I can't wait. <laughs> I don't think I've showed you guys my little Haworthia in this little tiny turtle planter. How cute is that? It's my only planter that doesn't have a hole in it that has a plant directly in it, but she's okay. I drain her out every time and she's doing well. She even has a little baby on her. So that Haworthia has been doing really well over the past year and my humidifier still works great still love her she's awesome keeping the plants happy this winter Ugh, i hate dealing with the recycling but it's something that is necessary because you know gotta save the planet recycle all recyclable materials my friend has this electrolux i think vacuum and this thing is a beast However, this thing is great with carpet. My Dyson isn't the best with carpets, but this thing, amazing. It picks up all kinds of disgusting dog hair, and you guys know that I play with clover in this room, so there is all kinds of dog hair problems on this carpet that I could see, so I was really, really focused on getting up all the dog hair. Definitely gonna have to do it again before we leave, so, um, you know, rip to my vacuuming job but hey <laughs> it's gonna make it easier for me to do it next week but that thing is it's also really really heavy and I had to like pick it up to move it to the <laughs> to the floor carpets that were there but it is a beast and I really really like it I don't know how old it is but that thing is the bomb and I had fun vacuuming with it although I do have to say dealing with a cord a little bit crazy but look at how beautiful the carpets are and this stupid snowflake is following me everywhere I go. Clover's like, wait, are we going to play? And I'm like, no, I'm just going to put this away. <laughs> I pick up toys all day long. I feel like a crazy person because I just, I keep putting dog toys away and he keeps taking them out. Is this a losing battle? Probably, but you know, I'm going to keep up the good fight. Anyway, making the bed after I've washed the linens and the sheets and all that stuff is so satisfying. I do think I left one pillowcase down in the washing machine and, and I actually ended up washing it again in, in the next load, but I remembered that and I took it out when it was done. So I am one 
pillowcase short in this scene, but don't worry, it did get put on a pillow. Do not panic, it's fine. And I still have my silk pillowcase for my hairs. It makes my hairs not lose moisture at night. And yay, bedroom is clean and neat and organized and ready for us to sleep in the bathroom. Also super clean and lovely. There are the linens that are back. We got the towels, we got the rugs. That room's super clean and vacuumed. All the rugs, the area rugs are nice and vacuumed. And the kitchen is beautiful as well. I was so excited to get this place clean and organized. It did take me about five hours to do the entire house, but it's so worth it to give this house a gift for giving us the shelter and taking care of us this entire winter while we have been waiting for our house to be built. I cleaned this bathroom too, but I didn't show it. <laughs> this is the downstairs bathroom. I also had to put the dishes away after I washed them and did my washing cycle. So that was, I think, the last hurrah of my washing that I did that day in the house. But I feel so good when the house is super clean. Oh, and when I was cleaning, I found a fish scale. My husband was scaled a fish w a week ago, and I was finding scales everywhere. You guys, don't scale your own fish. It's not worth it. Have this fish fishmonger do it. Just real life tips. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's cleaning video and I can't wait to see you in my new house. Uh, give your house a good clean. Give it a blessing. Tell it I said hi. All right, you guys. I love you. Bye. Hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer and soprano here in the Boston area and I'm here to inspire you to live a more organized life. So today we're going to do another little motivation video because I have been neglecting cleaning my house for um, a few weeks now, um, like really giving it a good clean, a little really good spit shine. And I am having a, a surgical procedure in a few days. So I wanna get this all ready for me to like just be able to chill out in here and not worry about how dirty it is um, so that I can relax. So it'll be, um, I think, a series of two or three videos in which I am getting ready to uh, be in the bed for the next <laughs> few days. And truthfully, I have been um, in bed for most of the day. I've been feeling really crummy um, and tired and exhausted, but I took some Tylenol, I had some coffee, and I am ready to go and re get this house uh, in order so that I can have a great next week. So first thing I'm gonna do is do the beds and um, do the floor, and I'm gonna go right in the bathroom and start in there and just work my way around the house. So I hope you were excited and motivated to get your house in order, so let's start. I'm gonna be honest and let you guys know that this has been a multi-day process in getting my home clean and organized and all ready for me to rest up for a few days and it is it's been a process but the first thing I wanted to do was make sure all my bed linens were clean so that I could have a nice fresh bed to rest in and this time I wanted to wash everything including the comforter cover and the duvet cover you guys is one of my least favorite things to wash because taking it off and putting it back on again is such a pain in the butt and I really have a hard time but Luckily, I can fit it all in my washing machine. It's pretty big inside, and I needed to add all these additives to it. Most notably, I like to add sodium percarbonate. I think that is the chemical name for whatever OxyClean is. It's just been boosting my laundry detergent so much more. I've been really enjoying using sodium percarbonate in just about every wash, not just the whites or the towels or the bedding, but like every wash. And it makes it so much, it just, it like boosts your detergent. I don't know how it does that, but I really enjoy it. And I actually really enjoy my laundry room. I will be cleaning that up in another video because it was super messy, but I decided also to clean up my kitchen a little bit, put the dishes away, make sure everything was nice and clean. We'd had some brunch that we got from a local cafe and we were just gonna recycle the containers but I decided to on this day that I needed to actually clean my sink like in a real way for the first time and don't judge me really for the first time since we had moved in and set everything up so I don't think you understand but inside the sink is this beautiful uh, sink pad that is made of stainless steel and also we have this stainless steel sink uh, 
caddy holder that, that adheres to the side of the sink. And I was not prepared for the level of gunk and disgusting stuff that was on the underside. I was gonna take my two OXO cleaning brushes, we love them, but what, you, you guys, you, this is so disgusting, I'm sorry. Look at, oh my gosh, I had no idea it was like that, so I just bit the bullet and decided to clean it up and uh, it was actually very satisfying and super fun. I really enjoyed it because I got so much of this just really squeaky clean and it was just, the satisfaction was just out of control. But the level of disgusting stuff that's underneath sink surfaces, I just found to be really amazing and also disgusting. As you can see, the water is getting really gunky. I had, I had filled the sink just a little bit with some water to clean everything up and it was just getting really filthy with all of the, like, the moldy, nasty, disgusting stuff that we were brushing off with these brushes. And by the way, these are OXO cleaning brushes and they're, yeah, I was like so grossed out. Look at the stuff inside of, the, look at, you can see it moving, it's disgusting. I went over to the trash can to put it in the trash because I didn't want it floating around in the water even though there's like yucky stuff floating around in the water. I just had to bite the bullet and drain the sink because ew, it was nasty. And even the little plastic insert had like gunky, moldy, disgusting, like business in there I, I just I hadn't even thought to check it in a long time and I just I didn't know it was so disgusting but but everything got squeaky clean and boy was I happy with the results look at that squeaky clean no mold no nastiness just clean sink <laughs> So I had to clean up, of course, the rest of the kitchen there. You can see little Clover Bean just walking around, being his old Clover Bean self. And I just figured I would clean the rest of the kitchen and uh, get it done. This is broken. I Maybe I think I'm going to try and fix it. I don't know. It's like... See, it's all like wobbly and like the base came loose from the this so I think I think I can fix I think I can fix it my husband had been complaining about the wobbly uh, paper towel holder so I did actually fix it and uh, it's as good as new I think I've had that for like maybe like 10 or 12 years and it, it just you know kind of came loose but it broke and it's as good as new so I next tackled the microwave it was actually really gross inside I don't know when the last time I actually came clean the microwave was but um, it needed a good scrubbing and nothing is more satisfying than cleaning the microwave and if you're curious I am using a uh, concentrated cleaner in you know with some water and but mostly I'm just using water and a microfiber cloth you can pretty much get up almost all the messes in the kitchen with a microfiber cloth and water and uh, let's pretend that my camera ISO didn't turn up all of a sudden and get this grainy picture for the rest of the video. I'm very, very sorry, but just pretend that it's like old, H, you know, standard definition television. And you know, you're, you're hanging out with me like in the 1990s, early 1990s, okay? Anyway, I'm sorry, you guys. Anyway, I just uh, moved on to the dusting portion of my <laughs> cleaning process. I actually do dusting in a couple of different phases and um, I like to, dust all up and down and then I like to vacuum as you can see vacuuming and dusting kind of go hand in hand because when you when you dust you kind of kick up dust so I like to go back in with my vacuum and go underneath furniture because for some reason that day I had not charged my Roomba correctly because normally I would you know let my Roomba do most of that vacuuming work but today I was just like you know what I'm just gonna get out the bat the um the Dyson and do a pretty good job myself the carpet I usually do myself because the Roomba doesn't have really enough suction to do a really good job on the carpet but it does a great job on the hardwood floors I got distracted by the plants a little bit because there was a little bit of a pest issue <laughs> that I needed to uh, take care of but I continued my vacuuming adventure after that moved on to the kitchen vacuuming the kitchen is so satisfying because there's always a million crumbs around and when you can see the crumbs just disappearing you just you love your life you know I, I'm, I'm telling you guys I keep telling you guys I am that sim with the neat trait Okay, I've cleaned the living room and the kitchen and it's really nice now. I still have the pantry to clean out and um, the rest of the linens to do, but I said I was going to start in the bathroom, but I didn't. For some reason, I got distracted by the plants. Um, I have sad news. My Maranta, my red Maranta, uh, got devastated by spider mites. Like, 
I looked at it like a few days in a row and I was like, hmm, it doesn't look, you know, that great, but you know, I'll just pull off a leaf or two that's turning yellow and it'll be fine. I just kind of put it off cause I was busy. And then yesterday I looked at it and I was like, holy crap, um, this plant is going to die because it was covered in spider mites and like the webs and I could, st it was like not, it, it was, it was not worth saving. So I sadly um, ushered it out the door and into the trash. And um, now I have nothing in that head planter. And so I was treating all the plants around it for spider mites um, with like alcohol soap and all that. And like, it's like a whole thing. So hoping that will, um, crossing my fingers, keep those away from the other plants. They don't look like they're in any trouble, but the Maranta definitely like was on her way out, um, rest in peace. But I do have to get started in the bathroom. Um, so I'm just gonna take all of the carpeting out, the towels out, and just do a big surface clean because it's really nasty. It's nasty in here. So like my main concern is like the nastiness of like the sink. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like really gross. Um, and the hardware is really gross. And like there's stuff all over the mirror and like just it's like nasty and also this um white um thing what is this white vanity which is really nice um but i don't know if you can tell where i've been touching it to like open it is like getting a little bit grimy so i'm gonna see if i can get that back to white today maybe with some baking soda well i'll test it to see if it's safe um and the carpet is nasty so we're gonna do a good clean down in here. I got just stuff all over the floor. Like, look, there's hair everywhere. Um, and like this is nasty. So we're just going to do some good old fashioned scrubbing. I don't even want to show you the toilet. It's nasty. Oh, also, I think there's some dust like up here on this shelf. Yeah. Like, look, look at the neck. Can you tell? I don't even know if you can tell because I don't think it's focusing, but it's, um, it's not good. So <laughs> we're going to get it all cleaned up. Of course, I'm always the fan of the vacuuming first before I do anything in the bathroom because I'm just, there's hair everywhere. You know, I just, it's disgusting. Um, I And I just want to apologize again for my grainy, nasty camera picture. I hit some bad settings. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm having some technical difficulties in the last like four videos. I'm so sorry, you guys. I am the worst, but I promise you I fixed it and it, it, things are gonna get better, I promise. <laughs> And a little preview, I put my little ZZ plant in the shower to have a little bit of a bath. She was covered in dust and that's just a preview for like the next video because I did do a plant care day video for you guys to show you who else goes in the shower and um, it's not only my ZZ plant, it's all of my other large plants as well. So uh, I was taking my Swiffer to dust again and boy did that kick up a lot of dust. Oh my goodness. I had not touched that surface in so long long and I figured you know what I'm just gonna dust all these other surfaces so that they're easier to clean and that is one recommendation I have that when you're cleaning your house to do the dusting first before you do any other like surface cleaning because then you've already taken off one layer of dust I actually don't think I've cleaned the surface of this trash can in a long time and there was like a really fine little layer of gunk on top of it but it got really clean and I'm really happy to report that even with so it's look I'm doing like little detail cleaning I'm so bad um, but even you know even with like a little tiny surface clean you know superficial clean things can look really new again so sometimes if things you know look a little old and you know they look kind of sad just give it a good spit shine and you know see what you think after that I've the, I've had this trash can for like man going on 17 years and maybe not that long maybe like 15 years and it still looks really good I definitely cut out the part where I clean the toilet because no one needs to see that. You know, like I, I just, I'm deciding that I'm gonna stop showing that because it's gross. And, uh, but you know, trust me when I say that I definitely cleaned the toilet and it's neat and uh, nice again. So there it is. <laughs> I cleaned the surface of the vanity, clean up all of the mirror surfaces and spit shined them with a little bit of fine weave micro microfiber cloth and some water or bathroom cleaner. I used both. Because I had my ISO turned up so high, you can't really see how discolored this vanity had become from just my touching it over time, but it really was like brown <laughs> or a little bit discolored. So I got some baking soda, as you can see here, and I made a paste with it in a microfiber cloth and I just 
uh, buffed it a little bit and a lot of the stains came up so if you're stuck in like a bathroom with some stains or something like that just grab some baking soda and you can get a lot of stuff up it just takes a little more elbow grease than magic eraser even though magic eraser will work um, as well it's just a little gentler than magic eraser which can be a little bit harsh and then finally, I was very excited to clean the, the sort of step that's on the shower. Um, there had been, you know, that like irony red gunk that sometimes accumulates in your bathroom. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's disgusting. And taking this little detail brush to it really made all of the difference. It looks brand new again. And now I'm not embarrassed about my bathroom. And now it's time to clean the glass. I do have a homemade glass cleaner that's made from vinegar, water, and lemon juice. And I just, oh, I went down on the other side to do the little like nasty brown stains uh, to clean that up, but I did clean the glass. Uh, cleaning glass is one of my favorite things to do because of how satisfying it is. You can, I mean, you, it's glass is clear, right? So you can see the dirt on both sides <laughs> and it's just high. It's one of those like highly satisfying things for me to do. Like I love cleaning my windshield on my car and I love cleaning this glass door in the shower because you can see it become clean and I love it. Last order of business is just to do a little bit of mopping and to get the floor nice and clean before the linens went back in here. And I've talked about this mop several times. This is the Ocedar, I think, I guess it's the spray, spray mop, spray and mop, whatever. It's the bomb. You can put any cleaner you want inside and it is super easy to use. It's been awesome. I think I've had this for a really long time, like eight years. And it's, it's a really good mop. So uh, yeah, I like mopping. And it was time to tidy up my bedroom, take my switch out of my bedroom, even though it usually comes back at night because I've lately I've been playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney uh, because that's a fun game. It's a, like a lawyer based game. And you, you're probably saying right now, okay, a video game about being a lawyer. How can that be fun? That's where you're wrong. It is so fun. And I got it because it's a great game for someone in recovery so that they can, you know, you don't have to do precision jumping. You don't have to, you know, kill enemies. You just have to make decisions and have some fun. So uh, it knows what it is. It's very tongue in cheek. It's not real at all. It's just a super fun game. And I highly recommend it if you have a Nintendo Switch. Here I go going crazy with the duster again, but I'm telling you, it's very satisfying to dust with the Swiffer. I went over to my husband's side of the room and dusted his nightstand as well. The glass really shows how much dust is in the environment. And you know what? I'm very thankful for that. I'm thankful that I can at least see how dirty things are, you know, and the top of the bed, uh, the headboard gets really dusty and dirty too. Um, and I've found that, you know, of course, doing these dusting uh, sessions more often often can, uh, you know, decrease the allergies I experience from the dust. I probably should dust a little more frequently because lately I've been really allergic to dust um, and it's just been, you know, it's been really affecting sort of my life and all that other stuff. So I'm doing the windowsills. I'm pretty much doing every area that needs dusting. And at last I had some linens that were dry. So I made as much of the bed as I could. I put the sheets on and you guys know how satisfying it is to make the bed. Oh my gosh. I was still um, drying the comforter cover and because putting that on, be honest with me guys, it, if it putting the comforter cover the duvet cover back on the duvet is one of the most frustrating things I uh, like I, I ever I do during the day like if I do like I and I really I oh there I am trying to get the, get the stains up again I'm going with the, with the cleaner again I didn't even notice I did that twice um, but putting the duvet cover on the duvet is one of the more frustrating things that you can do like ever because um, it's got one opening on one side right and the duvet is you know it's, it's it's meant to go on the bed on a certain way so you know if you if you have it turned 90 degrees the wrong way it's you know, it messes up your whole system so uh, it's just so frustrating I need an easier duvet cover I saw one actually on Instagram <laughs> Instagram ads always be getting me girl anyway I saw one on Instagram and it looks like I mean it was marketed to be a duvet cover that was really easy to put on your comforter 
and I really want to get it because it looked like it would make my life so much easier, but I didn't want to spend the money on it <laughs> because the one thing I want to buy right now instead of a new comforter cover is a gaming chair for my office so that I can be in there and be comfortable. But um, you know what? We'll see. We'll see how impatient I get with putting the comforter cover on in the future. You know what I mean? So now's time for more disgusting Kay's apartment, like nastiness. Look at the vent in the guest bathroom. I did the one on my master bathroom too, but I didn't film it. But like, look at it. Look at the, look at it. Look. Oh my gosh. I can't even. So I went in with the vacuum. There was some spillage of dust. But you know, you just gotta watch out. And you know what? It got very satisfyingly clean. You can see the dust like falling. Oh my gosh, it was so upsetting, but it got really clean. Um, so I finished putting the comforter cover on. I did not film myself doing that because it was just so gosh darn frustrating, but I got it. I'm getting, I'm actually getting better at it, you guys. So um, everything was on there correctly and it's soft like a marshmallow, just like I like it. I like the, my bedding look, to look like a marshmallow. And a lot of people ask where I got the comforter cover and the duvet. Um, and they are both from Bed Bath & Beyond, so I don't think they're a remarkable brand, but they did come from Bed Bath & Beyond. They are amazing, and uh, you know, you can get some good deals there if you really want to get some, you know, affordable bedding. Guest bathroom time. I, this bathroom doesn't need as much cleaning as the master bathroom because of course it doesn't get used very much, um, you know, for showering and stuff. So we're not in there as much. We're in there plenty of times during the day because we are working in the office and, you know, we just use this bathroom because it's right across from our office. So the main thing that usually needs to be cleaned is the toilet and the sink and everything else is usually pretty clean. So I quickly did that and it's very satisfying, but this, this is nasty. This is nasty. You see that like nasty rust colored stuff? Yeah, that's disgusting. And I just had fun <laughs> cleaning it up. I think part of me, you know, I, I look, I can see that happening for a few days and I'm just like, ugh, that's gross. But then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to let it go for like one more day because when I clean it, it's going to be that, it's going to be that satisfying. Does anybody else do that? Do, do you let things just like get kind of gross because it, it'll be more satisfying to clean it? Is that just me? Okay, I know I'm I'm kind of a weirdo. So I'm pretty much done cleaning in this bathroom. I just have to put the rug back after it's washed and everything, and I wash the trash can. Um, but there is like some gross stuff on the, the 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 what's that? The baseboard. But look at this grossness down here on this base. Wow! Like how? 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 So I'm gonna clean it up now. That's disgusting. I'm offended. All right, it is clean again, and now I can be happy. <laughs> so that is basically the end of my phase one pre-surgical clean. I did not shoot an outro for this video because I was too distracted by everything else. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first part of my clean with me uh, before I get in under the knife series because uh, I just want a nice clean apartment while I'm recovering. Today I thought I would uh, clean with you guys a little bit today. If you're feeling not motivated, if you're feeling like your house could use a little spruce up, you can clean with me. You can put this on in the background. We'll be chilling. Um, I just haven't cleaned in a while and so I need to take care of the place before it drives me absolutely insane. So I'll show you what's going on. We've got a unmade bed and those are clothes that need to be put away. I probably should wash my brushes. We've got just, it's kind of a disaster. Well, it's not that bad actually. We've got a clover. We're gonna go out in a second to go for a walk, but um, the living room isn't too bad, but the both of the bathrooms need to be cleaned and the floor hasn't been cleaned in a while. And I still haven't taken down my Christmas tree. I may do that today. But depending on how I feel. <laughs> um, but we've got some stuff going on in the kitchen. It's mainly gonna be bathroom and cleaning and stuff that doesn't really show on camera, like the floor is really dirty and dusty. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna start the Roomba and Clover and I are gonna go outside to the park. All right, you ready to go? Does it feel like Groundhog Day? Yeah, for me too. All right, you ready? Let's go.
Cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me Don't you be afraid Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? Like the way where you reflect me I just don't want this I just don't want this moment to end Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? Like the way you affect me I just don't want this I just don't want this moment to end
yeah. I'm tongue tied, twisted around your finger like a piece of string. I'm winded, chasing after your ghost is real exhausting. I'm in love, but I don't think it's what I thought it was supposed to be. Love story, no cuts and no glory. How did I get so dizzy? Thinking of you, I don't usually get like this. It's something about you I miss. Could it be we never had that kiss? Well, I don't usually get like this. Get like get like. To catch you falling Instead I fell off myself And I just can't stop falling These wings are gonna flap for me If I keep waiting Keep waiting Keep waiting Keep waiting Keep waiting How did I get so dizzy Thinking of you I don't usually get like this Something about you I miss Could it be we never had that kiss? I just wanna kiss you Well, I don't usually get like this Something about you I miss Could it be we never had that kiss? Yeah, I don't usually get like this Get like it, like this Oh, get like this No, get like this 
Then I saw you coming at me. Somebody that I used to know. Somebody you're my enemy. That's so sentimental Push and pull is all we do Life is hollow without you Ooh. Without you Without you Without you So heavy, anchored to your memory. Ravage through my brain, oh, loose in the china shop. It goes non stop. I don't wanna fight no more, or I got me on the floor. Breaking stuff that's so sentimental. Push and pull is all we do. Life is hollow without you. It's like way into the future. I don't know when I left off last on my vlog, but it was like days ago. So I have to actually clean again a little bit. Um, my husband emptied the trash this morning. I'm gonna clean the trash can because he forgot that he had a meeting so he couldn't finish the chore, but I was grateful that he took the trash out. Um, we already took care of the dog this morning. Gotta take the dog on a walk, get ready for the live stream and finish the final touches on my um, video optimization for the month of February. Um, I. I haven't really talked about this, but I've started to um, switch up my workflow and so that I'm um, batch filming for you guys over a period of a week and editing over a period of a week and so that I can focus on some other projects, make sure I fulfill some of the things that I had been slacking on for the last um, few months and that's been really working for me, but the, the batch filming week is like, it's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot. So. Um, it's snowing outside today, so we're gonna have a nice snowy walk. Clover is here waiting for me to throw the ball. Little man, I still have a lot to do before I can do this with you, okay? We're gonna go outside at about 10 o'clock, okay? We will we'll have some fun. What time is it now? Nine. It's almost, it's almost nine. Okay, we'll go outside at 10, I promise, and then you can get some exercise, okay?
There was sun and there was rain, beauty in the mundane. Oh, oh, oh. And as the light startled our eyes, we let go of disguise. Oh, 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 oh. And now there's something in the air and a sparkly shimmer on our skin. day and I just want to finish off the day with a little bit of chill cleaning but first I had to make a little latte so good I have maple bourbon coffee with vanilla soy milk in here and it's really delicious so oh man I have to be completely honest with you all and say that I have not given this house a proper clean since 
we moved in here. We had cleaners come to the house, but they haven't cleaned, they didn't clean in every little nook and cranny. And I wanted to really do a little bit of a cleaning, you know, run today. And I did two bathrooms and the bedroom. And it felt really good to just really cleanse the space and make it ours. I even had to vacuum inside the closet and just sort of vacuum off the baseboards. You know, the baseboards get really dusty if you neglect them. They seem to get dusty really quickly as well. This master bathroom is so nice. I really have to be honest and say I don't love the color paint that is in here. I'm definitely going to change it when you know we settle in a little more. I'm actually gonna change the paint in the bedroom as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful dark color blue, but it's just absorbing so much light that I just, I think in the bedroom, I just want white walls. I just want nice, bright white walls. So we'll definitely be changing that over. I think it's gonna be multiple, multiple layers of paint. <laughs> we will be there, I'll take you on the journey, but it's gonna be an adventure for sure. The other thing I really wanted to do is clean the fronts of the cabinets. I don't think the cleaners did this either, and there's lots of debris on the fronts of cabinets and especially in, on handles as well. If you haven't cleaned the fronts of your cabinets in a long time, I strongly encourage you to do so, especially if you have shaker fronts like mine with a little indent dust and debris and you know gel from your hair or soap or whatever can get caught in the little indents in the in the 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 bottom portions of the little indents and it's really good every once in a while to go and just wipe those down and get that dust off and it made me feel so good to get this space sparkling clean. I have loved living here so far. It's been such a dream and we have these little secret compartments above our cabinets and they're just so cute they we don't have anything in them right now but i'm thinking about putting some skincare in there or something but they of course were not cleaned by the cleaners so i went and did my due diligence vacuumed that them out just vacuuming them out got them so much cleaner i was so much i was so surprised by how much debris like dust debris was in there but i went through with my microfiber cloth okay was my microfiber cloth was doing the work you guys it was doing all the work and it's so much cleaner and i don't feel icky about putting stuff in there now and the last thing i did was give my floor a good mop i am getting a shower not a shower curtain but a bathroom rug that fits underneath the door the door is really really low to the ground and i know that i can shave the bottom of the door off that's something i considered but for now i'd rather just you know have something that fits underneath the door so i don't have to actually shave the door off um, but I love this mop. I, I lovingly refer to it as the Melissa Maker Mop, even though it's the Maker's Clean Mop. Um, you guys know how I feel about Melissa. I love it so, I love her so much and I love that mop. Okay, the spare room, the spare bathroom tub was disgusting. There were like dead bugs in there. I don't know what happened. We don't, we never use this shower for showering. So I wanted to wash it just, you know, in case like I needed to like have a change of venue for my shower. I don't know. Or if guests arrived and there was actually some, either some paint or paste on the hardware in there. So I got it off. It was so satisfying. Just use a little Bonhomie and that takes it right off. Do you guys use Bonhomie to clean? I love Bonhomie. It's kind of like, mmm. Barkeeper's friend, but only less abrasive and less corrosive to your lungs. It's a really nice cleaning solution. I love it to use it to clean bathrooms, the kitchen sink especially, or dishes when I'm having a lot of trouble with stuck on food. Bonami is one of my favorite things to clean with because it's so gentle, but it's so strong. I love it and it doesn't smell like anything and it's so cheap. You can get it at Target for like a buck 50 or something and you get a big old uh, tube of it. Again, cleaning the bathroom floors with my Melissa Maker Mop, AKA the Maker's Clean Mop. This mop, I am in love with it. I love it so much just for quick jobs and for, you know, getting tile really, really clean. It, you can scrub with one side, right? And then turn it over and sort of dry with the other side. It's kind of brilliant. And it gets in corners so well. It's, it's 
I can't say enough great things about it. I think the thing I love most about it is you can leave it up against a wall and it won't fall down because it's got a little grip on it. <laughs> That's a really, it seems like a really silly thing, but I love that feature about this, this, of this mop. It's so, 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 so good. If you guys are not familiar with it, I will put a link down in the description and so you can pick one up yourself. Okay. So here's the front hall closet. It was a different configuration when we moved in. Maybe I'll put a little picture of what it looked like before, but I have been changing it around and, you know, because we have extra alpha shelving and it was just basic white before. So I put in some white decor shelves just to make it look a little fancier. And I've been doing this closet in stages. And the truth is I do a lot of my organization projects in my own house in stages. So I kind of neaten things up here, change the configuration here or there, and I just leave it alone for a little while. I live with it and then I may change it again. And I'm definitely in the process of decluttering and changing out a lot of our things that we have because we have a lot of extra things, especially extra organizing things that worked in the old apartment that we don't need anymore or things that no longer fit. So we're in the process of decluttering them, rehoming them. I've been selling and giving away a lot of things on Facebook Marketplace. It's so satisfying to have someone come by and be so excited about an alpha drawer unit that you don't need anymore. They're like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. I'm like, please take it away and use it. So um, while I'm still organizing, I am, you know, taking inventory of this stuff that we really don't need anymore. So um, it's it's a it's a definitely a process, and this house has been slower to develop than any of my spaces that I've moved in in the last ten years. I've just been really dragging my feet, and I think that's it's because the space is so much larger than what we've had in our lifetime, and it's it's just presented a huge challenge for me but I'm I'm I really am loving it and I'm I'm accepting the challenge so lately before cleaning I've started to put on an apron just to keep my clothes clean I I feel like I am turning into some 50s housewife or something by putting that on but I don't know it makes me feel cute and also it keeps my clothes clean anyway I I'm often overwhelmed by the amount of dishes I feel like I have to do all the time. There was this perfect graphic I saw on Twitter the other day and it perfectly describes my life with dishes um, and also the compost. So here, I love using these reusable K cups. Um, they're great, but the, the hard part about that is emptying the coffee grounds into the compost. It's a pain in the butt um, and the coffee grinds get everywhere, but whatever. Napkins are also compostable, which I love. So I don't feel as bad about using as many paper towels and napkins. I can just put them into the compost. We actually get the soil from the compost um, for our garden. So it's kind of like full circle. It's kind of cool. Anyway, I have this one glass that I have to clean by hand only. And that's super annoying, but I love to use the glass. So I sacrifice, but I just, I, the dishes just are always it's like a very, very vicious cycle and I hate it, but uh, it's just one of those things in life, right? That you have to do all the time, that and the laundry. But I, I just like doing the laundry a lot less for some reason. I don't mind folding. I just, I mind getting my hands wet. There's something about getting my hands wet. But cleaning this pan is so satisfying because parts of it you can clean with a, like a real scouring sponge and parts of it you can't really. Um, but the sides, you can really get in there with a scouring sponge because they're stainless steel. It's a nonstick pan, but like you can clean the, like the, the little edges with these, this scouring sponge and look how much it makes a difference. It's a huge difference. Like the grease stains just come right off. Oh, it's so satisfying. I love cleaning this pan. It's like the only dishes I really appreciate doing are these hex clad pans. We only have one of these, but I'm sure that my husband would like to get some more. He he was the person who wanted this hex clad pan. I thought it was kind of a fad. It's like a nonstick, but you can use stainless steel tools on it pan. I don't know. Anyway, I also had decided that I was fed up with the oven vents 
uh, not the vents, the stove vents, and they're disgusting. They're so disgusting because we cook a lot and there's a lot of grease and stuff that gets up in there. So what I did is basically put some baking soda and water and mix it together. Put a little bit of water at the sink and then place those in there to soak for like 10 or 20 minutes and you can see some of the grease and gross stuff coming out. I had to rinse my hands off, ew, ew, ew. And with that, I added some soap. Y'all, the Dawn Power Wash is like my favorite thing in the world. I don't know, it smells like apple. Well, this one smells like apple. And you can just buy refills for it. You don't need to buy a new spray top every time but it's fun to use and it it's just fun I love it I love doing the dishes with it and cleaning with it um, after about 20 minutes I came back and I drained the water the greasy disgusting water and then I went at it with my brush at one point I had cleaned these I like this way and then one time I stuck them into the dishwasher and the part in the front that I'm cleaning right now turned like a bronze color and I haven't been able to get it to be silver again. I'm thinking I could probably could if it was some sort of, maybe barkeeper's friend might do it? I don't know. Um, but I know it's some sort of chemical reaction with the metals, but it disturbs me a little bit how it's bronze and not silver like it used to be. So I think I'll do a little experimentation and figure that out. I also have a conundrum with my oven. It's a Whirlpool oven and it has aqua lift cleaning technology when i decided to do the cleaning research and apparently this aqua lift cleaning method does not work but i will try it for a video this week and we'll see what happens i went i started to go bananas and cleaning the oil up over where the vent was was you know my main concern and then it snowballed of course these things always snowball i was like oh the back of the the splash the backsplash is disgusting it has like little drips of who knows what on it and then I started to clean that and then I got curious and was like what's the top like ew it's really gross I'm gonna clean the top because it had all kinds of like greasy dust on there so you know th it's a real slippery slope starting to clean clean your kitchen and you can get into real deep really fast but you know that is the name of the game it keeps you fit it keeps you on your toes. And legitimately, I hadn't cleaned the top of that in such a long time. Um, and then I started cleaning the cabinets because like, there was also grease and food particles stuck on there as well. And, you know, I just wanted to do a thorough job. I didn't want to do like a, you know, half butt job. Anyway, microwave is next. The microwave permanently kind of smells like bacon. Well, not permanently, but it smells like bacon a lot because my husband cooks bacon in the microwave, which is a very fast way to cook bacon, but I prefer baking my bacon. I think it's so much better tasting. Uh, I, I mean, it's not as quick, of course, but I think it's a higher quality bacon experience. And I've lately decided that using a cooling rack is not the way to go with that. You should just use parchment paper. It's so good. Just parchment paper on a baking sheet, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, baking in there like 18 minutes. Great. Amazing. So it's time for me to clean the sink. Y'all have seen me clean the sink so many times, but it's very sad. It's one of those things I love doing. And what I hate about cleaning the sink though is that the corners get that like little gross, moldy, nasty growth in there. And I always love to like get that cleaned up as well. Here I am putting everything away like a good little doobie. I had been neglecting my kitchen so much over the past few days, it had gotten really, really messy and out of control. But, you know, one step at a time, and it's just so satisfying to clean everything, put it away, have it smell like Mrs. Meyers Rose. I bought three bottles of that Mrs. Meyers Rose from Amazon because it's limited edition. I love it, it smells so good. And the back of the sink gets really gross. We are gonna buy a new faucet very soon um, because our faucet is broken. It it like it it's stuck between the spray and just regular faucet 
I guess, setting. And when it comes on, it goes, eh, and it's very irritating. So we're gonna get a new faucet. I wasn't, able, I was not able to fix it. I tried to fix it and it just didn't work out. So we're gonna get a new one, a new sexy one anyway. So here I am refilling the hand soap. We were out of dish soap actually at this point. And it's very satisfying filling the hand soap. I love watching people restock things. Have you guys seen that new like restock trend on TikTok and on YouTube, it's kind of satisfying, kind of weird, right? You're just watching people refill objects, like put things back in the fridge and put their toilet paper back in the toilet paper holder. It's weird, but strangely satisfying. I don't know. Maybe I'll start doing it. Who knows? Anyway, I had had some marigolds sitting on this shelf here for a week and look at all the pollen and disgusting crap that have fallen off. I didn't even know. So I was like, I looked up and I was like, oh, that is nasty. <laughs> so we got the vacuum. We're vacuuming it all up. I love my Dyson vacuum and all of its attachments. It's so good for everything. It's worth every single penny I paid for it. Well, I didn't pay for it. It was a gift from my husband, but I was worth every single penny that he paid for it and that he gave to me. And because it's just so useful and it gets in so many places. And then, of course, we had to, to wipe it down. I'm not keeping this shelf, by the way. This is the shelf that the sellers left there. It's been a year, I know. But we're getting a console for this space to put all of our electronics in because look how dusty they get just sitting out in the air. We've got the, that's the thing. The big thing is the the box for the television, the Samsung frame TV. Then we've got our little Apple TV, which we normally, we use for, you know, YouTube and Hulu and all that stuff. And it gets really dusty and gross. There's my Switch. Switch is good though, too. And of course, I had to clean up my office. My office had gotten a little out of control over the past week, put my music stand away that can't be out all the time. And I, I inherited this bookshelf from my husband when we moved and he didn't want it. And I love it so much. It is bolted to the wall in the back, so I can't really move it. Uh, I mean, I can unbolt it and move it, but it's, it's in a good place for now. Dog hair is the bane of my existence, so I vacuum this couch pretty frequently because there's always dog hair on it, but I love my dog, so I'm not gonna, you know, not vacuum this couch, but it's so satisfying. We had this couch professionally cleaned a few months ago, and it made a world of difference. The guy came here, he spent like an hour just really cleaning, shampooing, and I was amazed at the result. It was totally worth it. I couldn't believe it. We had some stains in there we just couldn't get out. And my husband was fed up. He was like, you know what? We're gonna get somebody to clean this couch. He found somebody, dude came, cleaned our couch, left, it smelled so good. It was amazing. So I don't know, if you have a couch with like nasty stains on it, just, I mean, consider having it cleaned instead of getting a new couch, you know? We are, we are in the era of getting a lot more new things rather than fixing them. I mean, I say that when I just said I was going to get a new faucet, but you know, I, if you can, and if you want to keep something, maybe fix it. I don't know. Anyway, moving on to this side table, which I did want to get rid of, but I still have it. It's, it's pretty useful. It's next to the couch and in front of the window, and it was very, very dusty. It's got a glass top and a mirrored bottom, and it got super dusty and gross, but cleaning it was so satisfying. I'm so sorry the camera's moving because I'm moving this glass top, but the bottom, look how disgusting it is. That bottom is a mirror. It's supposed to be a mirror, and it's so cloudy and milky and it's got tons of sticky dust on it I don't know how it got this way but it was disgusting so at first I saw I decided I would the first step was to dust it and then I went in with my homemade vinegar cleaner it's just like basically vinegar lemon juice and water and oh my goodness look how much better that looks now it's, it's like a normal mirrored bottom it looks the way that it was supposed to look so Cleaning like this is very satisfying. Like places you don't clean very often or that you forget about because no one really can see this area in our house. Like if you're coming over, you're not seeing that, but I think about it. So sometimes I'm like, I gotta go polish it just like that. Also gotta polish the fridge. <laughs> polish the fridge with my uh, vinegar cleaner. Uh, you know, you get so many handprints and streaks on the fridge. Uh, I just, every, I have to polish it every week as well as the dishwasher front. It's disgusting because it, you get your little dirty fingerprints on it. It's nasty. So 
I decided to light a candle for ambiance and then I think I was finished. Okay, I am super sweaty <laughs> and tired, but the living room and the kitchen is clean. I don't have to worry about it anymore. I'm so happy. I hope you enjoyed this clean with me and found it relaxing and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. My house is in a state of disorder. I had McDonald's, do not judge, but I wanna get it cleaned up so that I can enjoy a nice clean house over the weekend by myself. So let's start by tidying up this kitchen. Holy Toledo. I also got some uh, groceries and I put the cold ones away but left the ones there because I was doing something else. So uh, let's get started. I'm gonna put on a good podcast and we're gonna go. So if you have a messy house and you wanna organize it, do a little tidy up, Use this for motivation. Here we go. As an only child, I actually really enjoy my alone time. I chose this opportunity since I was gonna be alone all weekend to actually get a lot of work done. I doubled down on my workload for the weekend while everyone was out doing holiday things. I was filming, editing, streaming. I was doing all kinds of work things and I actually was in my element and I didn't mind. I really actually just, I enjoy my alone time. So me and Clover were just hanging out for the weekend and I took the opportunity to take out the trash and just tidy up. I had made a huge mess in the house prior to making this video. I just was very busy cleaning my car, doing all kinds of projects for clients. I was doing some stuff downstairs. So I had made a very big mess and I enjoyed the process of cleaning it all up and just getting everything nice and clean. The groceries had been delivered that day and I put all of the <laughs> the non-refrigerated things away, but I was still working. So I just waited to put away all of the canned goods and the sauces. And I absolutely love this pantry. I love it so much. It is so much fun that it's on the stairs and I actually have so much more space than I used to. I can buy cans of beans and other things in bulk and I really appreciate that. I go shopping a lot less often and I love having a back stock of items. It just makes me feel so prepared for anything. So here I am kind of balancing where to put the almond milks. I love those little tiny packages of almond milk. They're so fun. Anyway, this is very satisfying because I hadn't moved the trash can in forever and I discovered there was so much dirt and crumbs behind it and it always feels really good to get in that hidden dirt where you just haven't seen for weeks or months and all of a sudden you move a piece of furniture and wow there's dirt there. I also took this opportunity to clean behind the trash can, well the rear of the trash can. That is a place that usually gets neglected. I know that I clean the out of side of my trash can when I usually take out the trash but I don't usually end up cleaning the back of the trash can because often it doesn't get moved when I take the trash out. But today when I moved the trash can, I noticed the back, it looked rough. So I took some cleaner to it. I have been loving the method scents that came out for spring, the Daisy and the Rose. They are so, so good. I often just want to clean because I want to smell the scent of the Daisy cleaner. That's kind of bananas, but I love it. I think it's so fun. So getting all of this clutter off of the counter was so satisfying. And this entire weekend when I was alone, after I cleaned the, cut the clutter off the counter, no clutter appeared again, ever, even when I cooked. So cleaning out the dishwasher is one of my least favorite things to do. Well, emptying the dishwasher, not cleaning it out, but emptying the dishwasher is one of my least favorite things to do. I don't know why. Well, I think I just hate doing the dishes in any form. I hate washing the dishes in the sink. I hate loading the dishwasher. I hate putting the dishes away after the dishes are clean. Hate it all. I did, maybe I just hate handling dishes. Maybe that's the thing, but there is, uh, there's, I feel like there's always one chore that everyone hates doing that like somebody else loves doing. Like I love, love to vacuum. I think it's so much fun to vacuum stuff because you can see the dirt just lift off of the carpet and off of the floor. I think it's so satisfying, but doing the dishes, 
can't be bothered. I even have to do Clover's dishes. See, I do his dishes too. <laughs> Maybe I hate the dishes because I feel like it's never ending. You know, you're always eating, right? So I feel like there's always dishes to be done and it never ends. So I feel like it's an interminable tour. Well, I guess none of the chores ever end, do they? Maybe I'm having some pandemic kitchen fatigue, but anyway, that's how I feel. Even before the panini, I did not enjoy doing the dishes, <laughs> but I do enjoy cleaning counters. When I was little, my mom would obsessively wipe down counters just like I'm doing right now. And I used to think that she was absolutely like bananas. My father was always like, what your mom is just like wiping on the counters for like 10 minutes after dinner. And I always thought she was just bananas. And here I am doing the same exact thing, looking, wiping the same area I wiped less than 10 seconds ago, just wiping them down, wiping them down. So I guess I have her to blame for that. I get it honestly, but it is strangely satisfying just wiping the counter, just feeling the smoothness of it all and just feeling the germs go away. I don't know. It's just so nice. So he, gosh, I'm doing it a long time, aren't I? Look at me just wiping stuff down. I'm really having a good time, huh? What is wrong? Keep wiping. She's wiping again. She's doing more wiping. What is going on with Lil K there? Okay, I think she's done. I think she's done wiping. Oh good, she's done. Oh, you gotta put in the cleaner away too. Look at me. Look at me. Nice, clean kitchen. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Clean sink, clean, well, the dog's not clean, but he was watching me and cheering me on from the sidelines. Now we have the entryway. A mess, what had happened here? I don't know, we got stuff everywhere. It's, it's just bananas. So I had to pick up the entryway as well. I, a lot of dog stuff appears in the entryway. Uh, oh, again, I was cleaning up my car. I took some shopping bags out of my car. I have, no, fun fact, I have shopping bags in my car, but they don't all live there. Some of them live in the front hall closet, so. I was just taking some from my car and putting them in the closet. And I was also picking up toys. I pick up dog toys all the time. They're everywhere. They end up in strange places under furniture. And I often don't find out they're under furniture until I hear Clover barking at them and wanting me to rescue it from underneath of furniture. It's just wacky anyway. Now that I had picked up everything and you have to pick up everything before you start the Roomba, I was gonna start the Roomba. Her name is Rosie. After Rosie from the Jetsons, I love this. It's an S7, I think is the model, and it's brilliant. It empties itself. It's so worth the money because like, who wants to empty the dustbin on the Rimba? The Roomba, did I say Rimba? On the Roomba, not me, not me. So the Roomba doesn't go in our bedroom because we have a shag carpet in our bedroom. And this is our master bathroom, so this I have to do with my Dyson and I have to manual mop and manual vacuum, but I don't mind. There's also a, did I say there was a shag carpet? Yeah, the shag carpet on my bed. We're gonna, we're gonna remove it, but that's why the rumor doesn't go in there. Anyway, cleaning the toilet. You don't need to see me clean the toilet. So thank goodness I have blocked the toilet with the counter, but I do get a lot of satisfaction, even though it's disgusting, out of cleaning the toilet because the toilet is so gross that when you clean it, it's so clean afterward, you cannot help but be satisfied. So I'm cleaning my husband's sink and I discover that it is slow drain. And the worst part about cleaning the drain is what is clogging the sink. And I will not exaggerate when I tell you it was the most disgusting thing I did that day. So gross, I hate doing this. Cause first of all, whatever you pull out is like, has just has developed over time right it's black it's disgusting and the worst part about it it smells so bad but anyway we solved it <laughs> with my tools and we have we have solved the problem and now we're wiping the sink again we're wiping the counters again do, do i let's see if i wipe them again we'll see if i wipe them again if i do i'm gonna laugh at myself just squeeze the squeeze now let's go wipe the counters wiping the counters do i wipe the same ones yes i wipe the same ones over again <laughs> Anyway, method, squirt and mop, cleaner, love it. Makes me feel like I'm gonna like uh, grill something, like putting like lighter fluid on the grill. No, just washing the floors. Here is the Maker's Clean Mop. 
it's one of the best mops ever. I've just, I am pimping Melissa Maker's products in like two videos now. Well, more than that, but like this mop is the best mop on the market, not sponsored, just the truth. Uh, it has like two sides. So like one side can be your mop side and then you flip it over. That's the dry side. It's so good. It's so good. And it swivels and it gets in like little tight areas. Watch me watch this. See, is that not brilliant? You love to see it. By the way, that method cleaner is, it smells like spearmint. It smells so good. It smells so good. I love that stuff. I've been using it for gosh maybe like eight years it's the best i make special trips to go get it so <laughs> it's my favorite cleaner i left a cup of coffee in there from that morning shame on me because sometimes i play animal crossing in bed uh don't come for me it's a good it's my morning routine anyway i was making the bed there's nothing more satisfying than making the bed and then getting in a freshly made bed i love that i love that feeling making the bed pretty simple for me and it's also time to take a uh, control of the mess in my closet my closet's also my vanity which has been working a lot so i also had some clothes from the dryer that i had not put away i'm doing all the things all the things so here i am putting away all of the mess in my vanity closet it's a mess Swiffer time, Swiffer time, yeah. I find that microfiber is good at dusting at first and then it's not as satisfying. I'm trying to find something that's as good as the Swiffer but more reusable. But when it comes down to brass tacks, the Swiffer is just pretty good. I just, I'm real, if somebody can recommend something to me, a microfiber product or something that's as good as dusting at, as Swiffer, Please let me know, because Swiffer does such a good job of like just trapping dust. It's reusable to a point, uh, but then you, you have to throw it away eventually. So um, let me know, or let me know if there's a way I can recycle the Swiffer. I don't know, but it's very good at what it does. It gets rid of dust and it just traps it inside of its little Swiffer feathers. And it's, it's just, it's the best. I love it. And it's not, there's, you know, there's nothing more satisfying. Well, I'll keep saying that there's a, but dusting is incredibly satisfying because especially if you can really see dust, you can like really see what a good job you're doing. I think those are the good chores and look at Clover, just watching, just watching with fascination. Like what you doing? Can I help? No. Okay. I just watch. Here I am dusting this shelf that the previous owners actually left for us when we bought the house. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it there. Actually, that's a lie. I am going to get rid of it eventually <laughs> and replace it with a console because that's where all of our television like hardware is, like our Apple TV, our, our internet box and all that stuff. And I don't wanna look at it. So there's these cute little skinny consoles that I'm looking at from West Elm. And eventually I'm gonna buy one, pop it there. It's gonna look really cute. I don't like that shelf thing gonna replace it anyway my office was also a hot mess i have been again grinding hard this last week so the office <laughs> took a beating but i just wanted to, to clean up a little bit when to clean up my my desk i got a water bottle there i got all kinds of nonsense i got food it was just a hot mess as you can see it's also my plant room i'm a plant mom so you know it's necessary and it looks so much better after I was done. Clover is just staring me down. Look how creepy he is. Anyway, the, the desk got so, I love how satisfyingly clean my desk gets. It's so good. And they have this big old peace lily. She, she's living her best life. Bathroom, second bathroom. This is the bathroom that's next to my office. So it gets quite a bit of use. So I just, I clean this one more often. It's just a little tinier. And fun fact, we have three full baths. No one needs that. We don't have any children. It's just the two of us. We have three full baths. I'm not complaining, but that's just seems excessive, <laughs> but we enjoy it, you know? And Rosie was just in there doing a good job vacuuming in there. So I had to wait to actually do the mopping job. She's very busy. Uh, I, you know, I appreciate her. So I wanted to give her space. So instead I wanted to take a stab at the one annoying thing that I had noticed for the last couple of days. And that is Clover's paw marks on this closet door. Now after dinner, when he, after he eats, he paws at this door because he knows there's toys inside. And he also barks until we give him a toy from in there. We do it because we're suckers. 
and hence it gets dirty. So you saw me cleaning that. It comes off. So, uh, you know, we're not perfect dog parents, okay? We just, you know. Anyway, we finally, I finally got around to mopping this again with my lighter fluid cleaner. <laughs> it's not lighter fluid. It's just, it's, it's spray and mop, but it just makes me, the action makes me feel like I'm going to grill, you know? Like I'm going to pop some chicken or some shrimp on the Barbie, right? Anyway. Again, satisfying mopping, nice and clean, minty smell, you love to see it. Clean bathroom, oh my goodness. Oh, fun fact also, I'm going to redo this bathroom. I don't like the wallpaper in there, uh, but you know, that's for another video. <laughs> the last thing I wanted to do was to take control of the couch area. Oh, by the way, we're starting some seeds inside. You can see back there, there's a huge grow light and there's some little sprouts under there. Very, very excited to have our summer garden action. I'm growing some herbs, some peppers, some tomato, and a couple of like cucumbers and fun things. Can't wait, very excited. So that is Clover's favorite blanket. As you can see, he goes up there, he takes control. That is his throne. That is where he controls the universe from. All the buttons are underneath, you can't see. There he is, he is the king vacuuming the couch was probably the one of the last things I did this day I just wanted to get the initial like dog dirt off of the sofa I'll, I know a lot of people don't let their dogs on the furniture but we you know I mean YOLO I, I, I love Clover I want to cuddle with him on every surface in my house and I just clean it up you know so we have a clean house we are uh, preparing to paint our bedroom so there's paint swatches on the wall but I enjoyed having a clean house this weekend while I put my head down and it sunk into my work. It was so satisfying. I hope you enjoyed this cleaning motivation. Hey friends, welcome back into today's video. So today I'm going to do a clean with me video to inspire you. If you have been delaying on your spring cleaning, I know that it's getting warmer outside. You want to hang outside, but your house needs some maintenance and some love. So as the weather gets warmer, I love to clean things that don't normally get cleaned during my normal cleaning routine, like say the insides of the dishwasher, the condenser coils of my refrigerator, the oven hood vents, things that just get neglected over time and just just acquire so much dust by the time you get to them you're like oh my gosh so chill with me today as I get my house nice and clean the little tiny spots the spots that you missed so let's go ahead and get this video started I was made sure that I made my favorite tea of the moment this is cinnamon tea I am addicted to this it is so delicious needs no sweetener it's just naturally sweet it's so good anyway the first thing I wanted to take care of is the condenser coils on my refrigerator oh my gosh uh i don't know if y'all have cleaned your condenser coils lately but look how much hair and dust and junk has accumulated down here disgusting i know that clover has been losing a lot of hair lately and a lot of it has gone here so i wasn't able to take the grill off i wasn't able to like pop it off so i needed a flathead a screwdriver which was mm, I don't know. I'm like, if you want me to clean this, make it easy for me to take the front off. Oh, by the way, if you clean your condenser coils in your refrigerator, make sure you turn your refrigerator off, you unplug it, or you turn off the power to the fridge because you could really hurt yourself. Anyway, look at how disgusting the grill was. Oh my gosh. So I had my handy dandy vacuum. I vacuumed up a lot of the hair before I gave it a good clean with a paper towel with some clean cleaner on it. Um, it was really, really gross and I was so glad. And look at the condenser coils. Wait, you can't look at the condenser coils because you can't see them because there's so much dust in front of them that is disgusting there was also something that had like dripped down there so i was very excited to take my vacuum cleaner and go to town and get it all cleaned up look at oh my gosh look at how much it gets sucked up this was incredibly satisfying i have not cleaned their condenser coils in two years and i don't think that the previous owners had cleaned the condenser coils either and i know they had a dog so 
the amount of hair, dust, and all kinds of nonsense that was in there was ridiculous. Now, you can actually now see the coils if you look hard enough. I think I turned on the lights to get a better view of what I was doing because it was really rainy outside. It was very, very dark. Uh, I turned up the ISO on my camera so it doesn't look as dark, but I, yes, I did turn on the light to see exactly what was going on here. And oh my gosh, there was so much crud and dust and dirt and stains and nastiness that this was like the most satisfying thing of my day. Oh my gosh, I was actually loving this, even though getting the front of the thing off was really inconvenient and annoying because I basically had to like lie on the floor and get in there with my Phillips uh, head screwdriver. It was not fun, but this part was really fun. Just getting in there and like getting all that dust out. So I went in there again with my Swiffer, Swiffer, I guess. <laughs> uh, the Swiffer actually picked up a lot of the stuff that was left by my vacuum cleaner, just a lot of the stuff that was just stuck to the condenser coils. And it's really good to do this once a year, maybe a little more often if you have pets, because a lot of that hair gets up in there and then the condenser coils can't really work uh, properly and your refrigerator can malfunction. You might notice things like not or the fridge temperature not you know being as stable. So it's important to do this every now and again just to get all that dust out of there so your fridge can work as it's supposed to. Look at the nasty paper towel <laughs> that I got. So it was it's really satisfying to clean things that like just don't get cleaned very often. There was those uh, little drips. I don't know what had dripped there, but there was something that had dripped down there that I was so excited to clean and I was very excited also to clean the grill of this um, and put it back. It took me a long time to put it back. Oh, here is the finished product. You can actually see the condenser coils. How, isn't that something? I wasn't able to, I wasn't even able to see these before. They were just covered in dust. Disgusting. But it's really important to take care of your appliances in your home because your appliances are working really hard for you. And sometimes we forget about them. We just like are using them, the dishwasher, the oven, the refrigerator, the washing machine. And we'll do the washing machine in, in another video, but these things do need maintenance as well. And there are often things that you can just do to make your refrigerator last longer. Oh my gosh, putting the front on was so annoying because the screws just wouldn't go. And I was super frustrated, but I got them on and I, finally could get off the floor because no one wants to be on the floor like that. And I totally forgot while I was doing this to take Clover out on like a tiny little walk just to get, you know, to get him a little satisfied. And it was raining so much outside. You can see he's totally wet. A lot of you have been asking for a Clover update. Um, a short update is he is doing great on an, a, a raised dose of medication and his hair is growing back. Oh my gosh, it had, all, it had actually started like to do like a weird snow rain thing at this time too. So this weather on this day was not great, but it was the perfect day for cleaning. Like you wanna stay in, you wanna be nice and cozy, you wanna do something chill inside and it was so nice. So before I started cleaning a lot of the other spaces, I was gonna clean the dishwasher next. I decided to clean out the dishwasher, make sure everything was put away so that I could get in the dishwasher. Oh, I'd forgotten that I usually give Clover a treat after his little walks. There he goes. He's not really that great about taking treats gently, but you know. We're working on it. <laughs> anyway, I decided to clean the inside of the dishwasher because even though it's a dishwasher, it's sometimes it gets dirty. And this little magnet, I get asked about this all the time. I got it from the container store, but you can buy it from Amazon or Target. It's so cute and it prevents, prevents the spouse from saying, is it clean or dirty? You know, you could look inside. That's something you could do. But sometimes it's easier to have a magnet on the outside. And I removed some of the parts that were so gross on the inside. They had like, like all kinds of gross food in them and stuff. Getting through a long day of cleaning has been so much easier since I started exercising. Cleaning is a workout, no one tells you. I don't think enough of us clean the dishwasher as frequently as we should. Cause we feel like the dishwasher's cleaning our dishes, shouldn't it also be clean? But the real truth is the dishwasher gets scaly, slimy, 
uh, disgusting and you have to take the filter out and clean it because there's food in there and also some of the sprayer arms can get clogged with food so it's great to take those out every once in a while like like twice a year or something but like at least once a year you know just give your dishwasher a little bit of love so I sprayed the inside with some all-purpose cleaner and cleaned the inside I got some of that scaly disgusting stuff on the bottom up and on the sides of the door there was crud and it was gross and I hadn't even really noticed it. I just just was ignoring it. And there was also crud on the side of the cabinets as well. Just places you don't look at every day. You know, you're opening and closing the dishwasher, but you don't look at these things and they're getting so dirty. Look, look at the bottom near the door disgusting so i took my handy dandy oxo cleaning brush y'all know i love my oxo cleaning brushes i have a set of three of them i'm obsessed with them they get used every single week in like every single like little crevice they're so good at cleaning and i use that to clean the sides of my dishwasher and i was shocked at the results y'all those little cleaning brushes are worth it. If you don't, you don't have to buy a special cleaning brush. You can use a regular toothbrush. Like if you go to the dentist and they give you a toothbrush and you use like an electronic toothbrush, just bring the toothbrush home and it's designated cleaning toothbrush. Now write on it, maybe in marker, cleaning toothbrush so that no one actually brushes their teeth with it because that's upsetting. But you can have a designated cleaning toothbrush in like places that are like grimy and gross. So good. Oh, and I found the manufacturer's plastic um, on top of the door here. I, I, I had thought the dishwasher looked a little worn at the top. And shocker, the manufacturer's plastic was still on the door. <laughs> the previous owners never removed it. I had never removed it. I didn't even realize it was there. And look. It's like we got a brand new dishwasher. I was, I couldn't believe it. I also had taken some plastic off of my oven door as well. Um, so that was something I had discovered. So I get, I mean, it's like we're actually living here. <laughs> These appliances are five years old, maybe five years old. And I'm still finding manufacturer's plastic on them. So. I think it's pretty funny, especially since we've lived here for two years. Um, that's on us, but I thought it was funny that the med, the plastic was just still there. Anyway, I was making sure that I was getting the inside nice and shiny and clean. I cleaned the sprayer arm. I put that back on and don't be afraid to like, like mess around in your dishwasher and find out where things are. If you need to like look at the manual, you can do that. I have a bowl full of vinegar here. I put it on the top rack and I turn the dishwasher on to a regular cycle and that cleans the dishwasher, removes all of the nasty scaly bits. You can even put some baking soda in there too. Just give your dishwasher some love. And finally, look, I'm taking off the America sticker on the dishwasher because it ain't new. We just need to own the things. You know, I feel like manufacturer stickers are one of those things that like I like to take off but sometimes you forget about them because it looks like part of the dishwasher and I walk by and I'm like oh that's just you know part of the dishwasher but it's like a manufacturer sticker from the manufacturer take it off own the dishwasher commit to it it's ours now it can't go back to the factory yes and there was like this little like drip on the side of the stainless steel. I don't know how long it's been there, but it, I feel like it's been there for like a really long time, like as long as I've had the dishwasher. So I probably tried to pick to get that up a little more and look at the bottom of the dishwasher, like the little kick stand or not kick stand, but kick plate or whatever. It was so gross, so gross. So these little spots in your, in your kitchen that like do not get attention, Give them attention just like one day, just go and look for like little hidden spots. Cause look at the, look at the dirt. Look at the dirt is again, especially if you have a pet, if you have a cat, if you have a bird, if you have a dog, you have a, a ferret, any kind of furry animal, whatever. Look, cause the fur just goes down and don't forget the fronts of your cabinets. Cause look at the nasty, well, it's hard to see, but the dust, especially if you have shaker cabinets like me, the dust just settles down in those little grooves and the front of the cabinets, you know, you're, you're slinging food all over the place. 
snacks and drinks and stuff. And some of it in inevitably splashes on your cabinets and gets on there and is gross. So make sure you take some time to clean that off. We have this glass door in our, in our kitchen that goes to the downstairs and the little panes of glass are so dirty. You, it's really hard to tell, but they've never been cleaned as long as we've lived there. And so I was just gonna take the time to clean them up. By the way, I'm using a microfiber cloth. I'm able to clean this between jobs and keep it relatively clean. It, do, it does kind of fill up with dust and you do need to clean it, it, you know, stick it in the washing machine every once in a while and get a new one. But it does a really good job cleaning your, you know, job after job after job. Oh, go ahead, look at my husband's socks on the stool. I didn't even notice that. You know what? We love husbands. We love them. We love them. They're great. They are fantastic. Anyway, cleaning the door was highly, highly satisfying. I had to go back and use a little vinegar on there and get it nice and shiny and squeaky and uh, clear and beautiful because we love a clear, beautiful pane of glass. This was also a place where there was lots of splashes of things like coffee and tea and whatever had splashed from the counter beside it, I guess. It was, I was just astounded how much like stuff there was. And by this time I had forgotten that Clover had just fallen asleep on the couch and he's so sweet. So let's have a Clover break. Look at his little toe beans. Are they not the cutest things you've ever seen? Oh my gosh. Clover is living his best life. He's just napping, sleeping so sweet. I took the time to also care for my Roomba because that's something you have to do too. A lot of people talk about how Roombas break. Uh, you really have to take care of them. Every now and again, you gotta go and take out the hair that is on the rollers because it will it will make your Roomba work really hard if it's trying to work really hard to turn the rollers and it will overheat the Roomba. So make sure you really take care of your cleaning machines so that they can take care of you, you know? Give them a little love. Anyway, again, these kick plates, is that what they're called? Anyway, the, kick, the, the, the cabinet kick plates or whatever they're called were disgusting. Not only because they had just been caked up with food or whatever that fell down there, the Roomba also stains them as well when it bumps up against them. So I just wanted to take a minute and wipe away as much as I could. And the bottom oven had also become very dusty and below that had become very dusty as well. So it's highly satisfying to clean that up. By the way, if you do not have a handheld vacuum, it is a life changer. You can just go anywhere with that little crevice tool, get up in there, just clean it all up. And it's highly satisfying. At this point, I also had noticed that there was more manufacturer's plastic on the bottom of the oven door, I could see the blue shining up at me and I was like, hey, what is going on? And then I was like, oh no, it's more plastic. And yes, it is like, we have a brand new oven. We have a brand new oven. Cause I'm pulling the plastic off like it's new. So um, that was fun and interesting going in your kitchen and like looking at places you never look at is incredibly satisfying because you find things that are shocking, like manufacturer's plastic. What dis? Like, how is this still on there? But you feel like, you're like, oh, I got a new stove, even though it's not new. A portion of it's new. The portion that was below the plastic, brand new. So y'all, I got a brand new oven. Ain't that something? Anyway, I was really focused on making sure the outsides of the cabinets were very, very clean. And thankfully I could sit while doing this. I didn't have to like squat or anything. I could just sit and chill. I had to change my cloth because my cloth was getting really dirty and full of dust. And it was just really satisfying. I had a podcast on, I was listening. By the way, I was listening to the Last of Us podcast. If you all have not watched the Last of Us on HBO, oh my goodness, what a good show. I'm not even, I, I'm not into zombies, okay? I haven't even played The Last of Us, even though I'm a gamer, because I haven't had a PlayStation until like recently. The show was so good. It's so good. You are missing out if you haven't seen it. The character development, 10 out of 10. The storytelling, 10 out of 10. Craig Mazin is a genius. Watch it, highly recommend it. So afterwards I watch the, when well, I watch, but I listen to the podcast on HBO, uh, like their, their YouTube channel, and it's very, very satisfying. Anyway, cleaning the house this day was very satisfying. I got so much 
done. I got dust in places I haven't even noticed there was dust. Like here's that little corner unit in my kitchen where the wine is and our produce, some of our like potato produce is. And I got in there with my, again, my vacuum cleaner, got up in there, cleaned it up and got the uh, dust, that little wine fridge there. Oh my God, behind there was so much nasty dust. Ew, ew, ew. And I took my extra long um, Swiffer and got up in there with a the Swiffer. So satisfying. Like you have no idea. Look at that thing. Look at, look at, oh yeah. Oh yeah, you can get back there so easily. If I was even more fastidious, I would have removed all those jars and dusted underneath, like in all those little crevices. I've actually done that recently, so I didn't need to do it this time, but Y'all, so satisfying. Here's my husband's like candy collection right there. <laughs> He's got a very huge sweet tooth and he likes to keep little like candy stashes around. It's so funny. Anyway, I was like so satisfied getting all the dust up with my Swiffer. Oh, loved it. This was the most satisfying cleaning day ever. Kind of last but not least, the oven vents and all of that gunky stuff that gets caught up in there. Listen, I'm cleaning these way more often than I'd like to, but it's because we cook like a lot <laughs> and there's always like nasty uh, oil buildup in there. So you can actually wash these in the dishwasher, but my dishwasher was going. So I was just like, eh, whatever, I'll hand wash them. They hand wash really quite nicely as long as your water can get pretty hot enough. You can soak them in like a baking soda and water solution or like with some dish soap and stuff and they get really really clean you just want to make sure that you rinse them super well like we're rinsing forever here i could see all like the gunk coming out but it was so satisfying to get them clean we just cook a lot a, a lot <laughs> and so this needs to be done a lot there's also a fair amount of grease that accumulates on the oven hood. It is disgusting, or I guess it's the stove hood, not the oven hood. Anyway, it's gross and needs to be cleaned. I love a paper towel for this job because it gets a little too greasy for a microfiber cloth because sometimes the microfiber cloth can just suck in that oil and it like never goes away from it. So I also clean the top of the vent because again, those little particles, vapors of hot oil just settle on top of there and it gets like this really gross layer of oil on it. So it was highly satisfying to clean that, make sure everything was all set. And this was the most satisfying detail cleaning of all season. The next thing I'm gonna do is probably go and clean the downstairs. The downstairs is very, very neglected because we're still arranging furniture down there. Even though we've lived here for like two years, we're still working on it. So uh, make sure to tune in for those spring cleaning videos. I really have a lot to do. I have windows, bathrooms, all kinds of areas to clean. I hope you're excited to go along the journey with me and I hope that you're motivated to get your home clean for spring as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, so we've been cleaning together for almost three hours. What have you gotten done? Let me know down in the comment below if you made it all the way to this point in the video. That is crazy and I love you so much. Um, let me know what kind of stitch video you would like next. There's closet organizing, there's bathroom specific organizing, there is plant care, that would be really fun. So just let me know, take a vote you know, vote with your dollars or comments. I don't know. I love you so much. Take care of yourselves and those around you. And I'll see you in the next video.